Let's find out some of the cool things to do. Our friend Andrea is here from the Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. GoRockford.com. How are you? I'm well. How are you today? I'm good. You got big plans uh, for Memorial Day weekend? We do. We do. We're actually, one of the top events that I'm going to talk about today, we're going to be attending that later tonight. We've got some fun events going on tomorrow. I was so. going to say, we, uh, we've got a busy, busy weekend. It really is. It is. So, you know, let's hope this rain holds out for it. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be really that nice. That would be Mother nice. Nature. Come on. So, why don't we talk about the, this is really neat, the American Cornhole Organization is here in Rockford, and they're hosting the Rockford Corn cornhole tournaments also table tennis championships at the uw health sports factory uh today and tomorrow so a lot going on yeah. sort of non-traditional you know sports events happening in our community what's really cool about cornhole is that anyone can attend so if you want to go in and sign up walk-ins are welcome it's only 20 dollars for a team if you've ever tailgated chances are you've played it yes exactly but th- what's really cool too is that they're doing cash payouts for winning teams so oh nice you might want to check this out and maybe you would just want to spectate that's definitely fine they've got alley oops delicious restaurant there in the upper level of the sports factory so just go and hang out and watch all the activities. And especially if you haven't been down to tour that place yet. This is a great chance to go down and, like you said, non-traditional and really, really fun stuff. It's so much fun. And what's really cool, of course, is that uh, it will be going on partly during City Market, too. So you got City Market downtown. There's a lot of activity happening in downtown tonight, especially. Which, by the way, uh, off topic, uh, not really off topic, but the City Market, you guys put up a really cool video on on YouTube, which we featured one of our posts, uh, showing people what, if you have not been down to City Market, I basically said, here's what you're missing. Yes. It's more of like that um, drone experience, too, so you can see what's going on throughout the grounds. There's so many vendors. I believe, what is it, over 70 now? And and they like to bring in new vendors, so you're going to get some of your favorites that have been there for years, and then you're going to get some new fresh faces, too, that you can experience some awesome food. They've got handmade items. Awesome performances from live music. You've got Taco Betty's right downtown. It's easily to walk, you know, convenient walking distance. You've got other eateries and shops as well. So there's just tons going on. And well worth checking it out. Runs through September 29th. There you go. So, and again, as we had talked about, it's just a quick walk over to the Sports Factory. So check it out if you can tonight. Um, Also happening this weekend, Young at Heart Festival. It's Memorial Weekend. So what better way to kick it off than Young at Heart Festival? Got to make that part of your Memorial Day weekend. You do. It's always so much fun. So Loves Park City Hall Festival grounds. That's happening all weekend long and of course on Monday as well. And you're going to be able to check out fun festival rides. You know, you get the beer garden there for folks and just lots going on. The fireworks show is always a, a fun thing to do with the kids. It is $12 on the day or $8 in advance. That is good for the entire weekend. Nice. Yeah. So check it out if you can. Miracle Mile Cruise Night. This is really fun. Oh, is, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. This is happening at the Don Carter Lanes parking lot from 4 to 9 on Saturday. If you want to participate with a vehicle and showcase that, uh, registration opens at 3 p.m. It's only $20 to register a vehicle, and spectators are free to attend. They're also doing a cruise around town starting at 6 p.m., so they're going to be doing that throughout the evening. And for people who love classic cars yes. and uh, the, the amount of love and effort that's been put into making them look the way they look, uh, this is a great event. It is. It's really neat to see. It. It's really educational, too. You can learn a lot about different automobiles from the different eras, so definitely if you can make that out, that's something fun to do. My favorite thing is to hear it. You spent how much? <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Well, it shows. It looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, you'll really see some does. cool. I'll look forward to seeing them uh, parading around town, too. That'll yeah. be nice to check out. Very cool hobby. And then uh, Memorial Day Parade and Programs is happening, of course, on Monday. The parade starts at 9 a.m. in uh, the Midtown District area that's heading up to BD Park. There's a celebration at Veterans Memorial Hall. They're also going to be doing the 21 gun salute, taps, the dove release, and the sinking of the ship at 11 behind the Rockford Public Library. So lots to do as well on Monday. You will want to look into that if you're thinking, I'll look out there and see him sink a ship. That's not exactly what that is. Correct. (laughs) But they call it the sinking of the ship. You'll want to check that out. But uh, yeah, every year, uh, really, really well done, really respectful, well executed. uh, And if you've got kids... And take the kids along. Teach them what Memorial Day weekend is really all about. What it is about exactly to honor our military men and women. So we you know, do appreciate their service, and this is a way that we can show that. Outstanding. Yeah. And get over to GoRockford.com. I, I want to do a remark. I love the website. I know you guys are constantly tinkering with it and, <laughs> and making it nicer and, uh, and more user-friendly. But I tell you what, you have got this website in such a way that... 
really, guys, if you haven't been to GoRockford.com and you're looking for things to do, it's all laid out right there for you. They even break it down into categories of things that you're looking to do oh, yeah. and give you where it is, when it is. Uh, you know, tells you a little bit, then says read more. You hit it. It'll take you there. Shows you on the map where it is, what time, all of the information you're looking for. We want to take the work out of having to figure out what to do and what's going on in the community. So that is it. And two tips I would say is check out the calendar of events on the website and also check out our blog posts. We're doing those weekly and they're just tips and tricks and highlights of what's happening in the region. So You guys are Facebooking it. You guys yes. are Instagramming it. Are you Snapchatting it? Snapchatting. We're tweeting. We're doing the whole nine yards. So, so <laughs> if you're at all plugged into social media, there's a way to find out what the Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau is doing and, and working hard on to make uh, this a better place to live, a better place to visit. Yes. A better place when you've got people coming from out of town to go, oh, oh, oh I've got some oh, stuff hey. we're going to take you and go and see and do. Yes. So yep. we, we've got it all. What have we missed? Anything? You know what? There's plenty more. Those are always just the top four that I choose, but there is a full calendar of events. There's lots more going on this weekend, so check it out if you can. They're giving you Monday off? They do. They sure are. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, even the Convention and Visitors Bureau needs a little rest now. Oh, yeah. Then. Just more work at house at, at the house, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, it's not like you'll be laying around. It's right. just you'll be doing work somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else. Good to see you as always. Nice to see you.